the people who know I, I am, unfortunately, a diehard Jets fan since I was six years old, ever since then. Oh, so, I'm wearing Jets colors. Nah, the Jets are like a true green. Uh, oh. what, what is that, an army green or turquoise? I don't know. I just wore it for Earth Day. Ah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> But I, I, I am a diehard Jets fan <laughs> since 2006, going till now, and things are looking like they can be moving in the do- right direction, especially with the draft moving up. Looks like the Jets will be acquiring Zach Wilson, even though on the downfall, they will be the only team in NFL history after they draft Zach Wilson to draft a quarterback with a top three pick in a span of four years, which is pretty pathetic. And they also do not have a guy on their roster that was a first round pick from 2018 to whenever and then the most recent first round pick on the roster is Quinn Williams which is completely embarrassing because honestly I don't think he's going to be around much longer he hasn't shown the uh he hasn't really produced the way we thought he was going to coming out of Alabama again a number three pick I honestly expect him to be traded sooner than later which is just another downfall but in, t- in 2021 Zach Wilson's our guy I mean hopefully this can be the guy who's actually the Jets quarterback for the next 10 to 15 years. Like I said, I don't know much about sports, definitely not football, but I do know the Jets have not made it in a while. So I hope they do for your sake, but bro, I don't. 2010 was the last time we've seen the playoffs. Exactly, I don't see. New York has, we suck in everything. The only thing that we have going for us is the Nets, but. Don't slam to the Knicks right now, number four, the number four seed in the Eastern Conference right now. For how but long? As of right now, and Julius Randle is going to win most improved player. But as in, I mean, for the Knicks fans, I mean, this is like, this, this is glory to them. The fact yes, that they, sure. the, the fact that the Knicks are even playing competitive games, let alone being in the true. playoffs, let alone being a top four seed. I mean, the only, the only the only teams ahead of the Knicks in the Eastern Conference is the Brooklyn Nets, who's the best team in basketball, the yes. 76ers, who have argue, arguably the front runner to win MVP, and then you have um, drawing a blank, the Sixers, the Nets, and the and the Bucks, who. We have the, the back-to-back MVP on that roster. So, I mean, if the Knicks are in that tier of teams, they're above the Miami Heat who were in the finals last year. Calm above, down. Of, I, I, I'm saying facts. Uh, they're above the Boston. Okay, but you don't, have to, you don't have to throw Miami Heat. You could throw everybody I did else. because I did because they, had, they got out of the Eastern Conference last year. So, I have to mention that the Knicks are playing better than them right now. We All can't right, things that. may change. Miami no, Heat is not. my team. I don't know if you are aware. <laughs> I, I did. I, I remember the promos of last, last during the playoffs last year. I can't, I do remember the promos, but I've been a, a Miami Heat fan since. Uh, so let pick another team. On my show, we always go in on the Celtics. We don't talk about. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I did mention the Celtics. The Knicks are ahead of the Celtics. From okay. The first- I mean the okay. the Knicks. I mean the Knicks. The Knicks have a better record than the Boston Celtics from the first time since Thank probably you. since the bubonic plague right. pandemic, from what I can remember. So yes, but like I was saying, the Jets haven't made it. The Giants haven't made it. So hopefully, fingers crossed for you. But I don't know if you could pick a team that will make it to the Super Bowl. Who do you think? You have to run it back with the Kansas City Chiefs. They're the favorites to win the Super Bowl right now as we stand today. And I Correct. think that's very respectful. A lot of people are a little annoyed that the Buccaneers aren't because they're returning all 22 starters, which is the first time in NFL history. I totally yeah. understand that. But I referred Pat Mahomes as he's in a class of athletes. There's two other athletes currently in professional sports right now who have that eye of the tiger, who walk around with that swagger, who have that it factor about them where it's, I love this thing. It's don't poke the bear because the bear could always bite back. I think LeBron James has yeah. that. I think Tom Brady has that. And I do think Pat Mahomes has it. I and think those Mahomes, are, all those people you listed are, are like MVPs and goats in the, the, in the, the I'm, I'm, I'm among the greatest in the history of their respective sport and their respective position. Pat Mahomes yeah. is in that class of talent. He's just not as older than he hasn't been doing it for as long. So he's not going to get that record recognition but in terms of the Super Bowl I think Pat Mahomes got a lot of extra slander that he didn't deserve I mean he ran behind the line of scrimmage for 497 yards and behind the line of scrimmage he was running for his life on a bad toe where the team was missing two of their offense and it wasn't him it was totally his team they were I don't know where they were like they didn't realize this was a Super Bowl and he um, he was carrying the team yeah Of course. And then he's always getting compared to Brady as eventually he could be the greatest of all time. And people think that he he's eliminated from the go conversation because of the Super Bowl. And I think that's ridiculous, especially what he especially what he was dealing with. I think he's heard the noise. He's got that foot surgery. And I think he's going to come back this year like that bad man he is. And I think he's going to walk around the chip on his shoulder and be like, this is my league. I run this show. Brady's not that guy. I'm that guy. I expect Mahomes to have an MVP caliber year. I expect him to win MVP. I expect the Chiefs to be right back in the Super Bowl going for that Lombardi trophy. 